guys and welcome to Angling for You. Today you join for me, me for another lockdown video on the deck as always and today this one is something that I keep getting asked over and over and over again and I feel it's probably not anything that I've actually gone through so I'm going to go through it today and that is feeders that are sort of like method feeders and stuff like that. Someone asked me about <clears throat> the other day about setup and is there a general setup to set up a a feeder not a method feeder and I said well not really no if you if you're gonna fish different types of feeder then there's gonna be a few different setups that you can do but going into method feeders and a lot of commercial feeders the sim the setup I use is very similar in fact almost identical for each one and that's in line I always keep them in line in case it breaks off and most fishery rules are in line with no elastic just in case that it, it, it snaps up and the fig, fish is not you know tagging a, a feeder on and ragging it round uh, while it's swimming around so it breaks off and the feeder would just drop off so I've got a selection of feeders at uh, feeders I've got a selection of feeders here and we're going to go through that's very simple rig how easy it is to tie how I tie it and that's it really we'll, we'll do that we'll attach them all individually and show you how, how, how quick and easy it is to do that and um, to simulate the main line I've just got some Pro Gen Gen Pro so I'm just going to pull off a, a couple of feet just so we can slide it on and on on and off and um, now obviously this one this one and this one um, of Preston uh, work on the 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 removable so once you've got this uh, stem on you know you can remove the feeders on and off uh, with no problem whatsoever now I know that but for this I'll show you that in the video but I'll, what else I'm going to do is just slide them on and off the line just to show you how that works with putting different feeders on now before we move into the close-up and the detail there's a couple of different connectors and I will show you these when we get close up and these ICM inline ones uh, Preston ones now these if you've got Preston feeders you need to get these really because what they do is they have a, a really small stem again we'll show you in close-up that fits perfectly into the end of these stems um, and makes it just a lot neater and, and in line now if you're, you're fishing a lot of other different methods and you're fishing a bomb um, or you're fishing different feeders they may have their own connectors and things like that that's fine um, but I use the universal style slip over quick change bead so like a, a rubber flange that goes over the end of the sort of stomp row connector part uh, and that'll butt up to you know whatever it is that you're doing for example this um, shotgun feeder from midi or this matrix um, pellet feeder for example so we'll go up close that'll make it, things a lot easier for you to see and we can run through how we're doing it got just a, a little small hook link tied um, to a uh, quick stop just to simulate how that rig would look and uh, we'll have a chat about each one and what they bring to the party and what what baits we would use on that uh, when we do that and uh, yeah let's get into it. Right guys so we're going to start by showing you sort of the uh, the quick line ICM uh, interchanging beads now so you can see there we've we've pulled it uh, the, the sleeve a little bit back it can come off completely and this will push in it's it's quite firm which is good so you don't don't pull off very easily and once you've hooked on your hook links you know you can push them in tight and, and they'll work fantastic we'll show that when it's on on the main rig and the other ones we've got to play with and this one's going to be a bit difficult on black so we'll put this packet there so again it's a similar uh, method in regards to there's a, a rubber flange that goes over the sort of stomp throw connector and they just slide on and that's where you can quickly interchange those hook links so before we actually look at the rig itself let's have a look at the feeders so we've got two similar feeders um here um and the sort of two different generations really so these are the exact same product would uh, to say but difference in generation is this is obviously an original flatbed uh, preston feeder now you, you this still works absolutely fantastic this are the sort of quick change ones which is you can see is a little bit a little bit different on the fins not too much but it has obviously the patented um, release at the bottom where you can take that out and you can flip that over and slide it off your line which we will demonstrate when we obviously do it so 
when you're actually tying these rigs you don't need to slide the feeder on um, and have it you know weight on your line when you're doing it you can do it just with the piece of tubing and then slide your feeder on after so those two are, are what they call a flatbed method feeder now those uh, using those as a product you know they, they work well with ground bait they work well, well with a method mixed ground bait they work way well with two mil soaked pellets or a 50 50 blend of both that's usually what you would find there so here we've got one of the Preston maggot feeders um, or sort of window feeder if you like it um, again it's on the quick release uh, tubing so you could if you could change your, your rig completely around if you want to fish maggot feeder after fishing that method feeder um, it's got a, a twist top that's um, that twists like so and you can see that has two circles in there uh, where the maggots can still get out of and obviously you can load them by putting them on side on it's uh, really aerodynamic and good to cast as it's got all the weight in the base and so it fires out like an absolute bullet um, and again it, f it fits in the same way if you're wanting to do that inline method for maggot feeder fishing so moving on to the banjo feeder now there's various different sides and i've gone through this in the past there's different stem lengths so if i wanted to take um, this stem out of this one for example um, it's a little bit hard actually i'm just gonna do it on the table there we go if we uh, want to take this stem out of this one um we haven't got any longer stems i don't think i've got any longer stems um than this one i might have actually let's let's have a look at this one again that's pretty firm in there might be the same length of stem to be honest yeah so you can see if I, if i wanted to change it to that one i could do but if i wanted to change it to the uh the maggot one i could do as well and like i say we'll go back into that when we get onto it but the uh, the banjo feeder itself it's um it's a little bit different shape obviously than than your classic standard um method feeder one and it's uh it's it's similar in in how it works realistically it's it, it's always going to land base down it's got holes in the bottom so it pushes out that bait it sort of souffles it out in a nice pile obviously the hook baits in there as well um, really deadly for sort of pellets it's mainly used for pellets you can use it for ground bait but it, I, if I were going to pellets I'd always go to this it's got those extra carrier fins around the outside so it just keeps that bait in nice for, for casting a little bit further distances and you can get it in god knows how many different um, sizes now this one you might have seen me do a video on is Midi's Preston shotgun feeder and again this one is a really clever design so you've soaked your pellets and, and again I've got a, a, a video on this uh, fishing it and a real close-up of how it pushes out the bait so if you, uh, you haven't seen that one go check that one out um, so obviously you, you, you pull it back and stuff it with your, your feed and your hook bait and then it hits the deck and slowly but surely the water comes in and pushes the pellets and it fires out like that and leaves all the pellets and everything in in front of it really clever design and this is the shotgun version there's a sawn off shotgun which is a miniature version of those as well and then this one's what i call like a a, 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 a horseshoe uh, kind of style clog style um pellet feeder and again it's simple in design uh, this is sort of again the older generations but good for little small snake lakes and throwing it close in tight snaggy places and again they come in a various size line through bait it, usually pellets 99 percent of the time uh, and bait in there pushed in um, and it, again it's really easy to cast and consistent um, so there are the different types that we're going to have a look at We've got some Progen Gen Pro line, which, like I said before, is going to simulate uh, our rig itself. So I'm just going to pull a little, a little sort of couple of foot off there, and I'm just going to knit that line off, and then we're going to have a look at, at tying on <clears throat> these different bits and bobs that we've got. So what we're going to do is start off with this uh, Preston ICM. Now I'm just going to. See how tight I'm just going to nip it off with my teeth. See how tight they've got a really small hole on on the on the back of them. Now it's really important that you that you thread these on first. So you, this side here is what's going to go into the feeder. So it needs to go on that way. This this end is going to be obviously where you attach your hook link. So we thread that onto the line, and that can be sort of slid out of the way a little bit. 
and the, again there's loads of different ways of doing these um, this is the way I do it so I, I slide that little stomp throw end onto the main line like so and like you see me do on other videos I nip the line together and I tie a knot with a doubled over line so I pull it right to the back and pull that down hard and just a little tiny pull pulls that knot right down to the back of the connector like so and again we get that line and we double that line over so we've got doubled up line here in my in this hand and I've just created a loop and I pass that through and pull that down and that, that knot will just sit nicely against the other knot really tight and really uh, accurate not going anywhere I give it a, a little tug just to make sure and I get my scissors and I snip that just give it a, about a millimetre worth of tag and uh, that sits perfect then and I can now slide my bigger end down to it and it's so neat that knot not that you can just pull it straight over and connect the end so now we've got the end on it you can't see any line it's perfectly uh, in there nice and smooth and we're ready to rock and roll now a lot of people um, do twizzled, twizzled line and things like that. I do sometimes when I do my um, rigs that are sort of, um, uh, let's put, get the words out, my rigs that are, are like bombs and things like that. Now, the pellet, the feeder itself. So before, normally before I tied this on, I would have threaded my feeder on first important to, to know always thread your feeder on first and tie this last the reason i don't have to do that today is because i'm only using a piece of line normally this would be attached to your reel so you would have to put the feeder on first so that's really important piece of information um, and always remember when you do do that you put that cap on first before you slide your feeder but because we're doing it in reverse just to show you today i can slide this line through because normally obviously that would be attached to a reel um, so this is how obviously how neat and tidy the rig is in, in its entirety so snip that cap back on and now we pull that down and you see with these ICMs with the Prestons they go straight back inside and make it really sort of perfectly in line as you can see there um, we'll just attach a, a hook link to this I'm just going to give it a little nip on my teeth to open it because it's very tight there we go so just going to grab my hook link from the side of it and you can have various different hook links the loop on this one's a bit big to be fair and um, i wouldn't normally have a, a loop like this i'd have a smaller loop but it's just what i found hanging about so you would attach that on and there you go your hook links on there um and you would have, probably you'd have a definitely a shorter hook link and definitely a small smaller loop there uh, but just for the case and point that's the rig in its entirety so you would have obviously the perfect in line and it's attached straight away to that uplink if you want to change your uplink on it it's really quick and easy to do and this is how if you've got a preston feeder you can you can quickly remove these feeders so you have moved off the cap and now we're just going to push down on that tube a little bit and give it a little pull through now as you can see the tube's still on the line if I flip it over, you can see that's where there's a line on the back. You can just pull that out the feeder, so that's completely out now, and and we don't we can move that over there. And let's say that we want to uh, change over to a flatbed. We've decided we want to catch um, on ground bait, and we feel that this is a better feeder to do it. Just lay that line over the over the crack on the back, and insert that tube. Slide it to the bottom and then slide your sleeve back down 
and you're away. You're back on, new rig, different setup, same same up length. You can change the up length if you want and obviously you've got now an inline flatbed method feeder. And then moving on from that, we slide off that again and give that a little push. Uh, the pull the tube out, turn it over and you see it drop straight out the line. And then we'll give you, we'll, we'll show you on the, uh, on the maggot feeder. So again, there's uh, got to make sure with this one that the, the window's in line with it. So then it'll uh, slide on. So we put that through, that line through. Again, just how we did before. Sl slide through that, that tube, like so. And just pick up the uh, sleeve. Obviously that wouldn't drop off your line because you'd be attached to your rod. And um, we'll just put that sleeve back on. And then that sleeve drops right back onto uh, the cat as a cap and you're away we've now got an inline maggot feeder and again like like on all the other ones the uh, the little ICM bead fits perfectly in the bottom and that that's a real sort of winner of what we're trying to explain with the Preston ones and the uh, all these um, brands Guru Matrix they all have their own interchangeable beads uh, that work with their certain brands if you wanted to make a rig that is completely universal and you don't you can still use these feeders on it um, but you didn't want to have the hassle of these beads and you just want a different bead so then everything could fit on the same one what i'll do is we'll tie another one we'll just take off this little hook link so we've got it for the next one so we'll get an, another get another piece of line and uh, I'll just cut off this uh, ICM bead that we've got here so we can uh, utilize that same piece of line so we're not wasting. So, well, that same piece of line that we had before, but now we've obviously got the, the, the other bead. Now, like I was saying, if you were putting a feeder, you, this would be coming from the real side, so you would have to put your feeder um, and, and on first and you know it is uh, a lot easier for me to show you this without doing that so we're gonna slide that through always put the case on first and slide that out of the way um, and then again you can get these from different brands different colors uh, these are just a standard black color you can get them in khaki green or brown or whatever so exactly the same as we did before so we've looped the line over together and we're going to tie that down. So we're using the actual connector to go through the loop to pull down tight a knot, which before we fully tighten, we grab the tag end and just tease it towards the actual connector itself. So it's sat against that connector, that knot perfectly. And then before we, uh, before we do anything else, we put another one, uh, another overhand knot on it. We could do when we grab hold of the tag end properly. We get another overhand knot on it to secure it. So I'll just grab that tag end and we'll try that with this wind blowing it around. So again, create that loop and pull that connector back through it. And again, that knot's going to form roughly around where you were before, just before you pull it up tight and you grab that tag end and just pull that knot down to the other knot. And you've got a super strong knot, uh, what's well, not going anywhere. I've never pulled out one of these ever. Um, so, you know, I'm not, I'm not entirely bothered if people have got their own methods of doing it. This is just a quick and easy for beginners way of doing it. I would have a lot of faith in it. And again, snip it down, leave a small tag, but nothing major. Um, and you'd have obviously you'd have your uh, your sleeve already on there and what you've already put on this is dropped off the other end so I'm just going to put it back on which is going to be interesting because it's a tiny hole so you slide obviously that would already be on your line you would slide that on and you've got the same scenario but where we've got 
uh, a nice little bead on so like i said before you would have already got your feeder on but what we're going to do is just show you what that rig would look like so let's imagine that we, before we put that bead on we put um a, pre, a, a, a matrix sort of our shoe feeder a pellet feeder on there and again there's so many different types of feeders that you can use guru ones or you know there's there's there's, there's absolutely tons and everybody's got their own version and to be honest they're all much a muchness if you feel like you're happy using some certain brand then go with that brand it don't really matter too much they all do the same job and they're all equally made well unless you're getting sort of no name of brands that don't that don't really aren't really made that well and the weights don't, aren't st stuck on there well and stuff like that then other than that you, you, know, you should be fine and this is the smallest hole known to mankind in fact i'm just gonna leave it off because it's doing my head in so th this one here is obviously on the main line now you would have threaded that on first which would have made it a hell of a lot easier um but if we just slide out the bead we can open the bead and put on that hook link like so really important that you keep your fingers tight uh, while you slide the sleeve back over so then the loop is sat in the right place I'm messing about with this bead here we are so that's sat on there nice obviously that sits inside with your bait and these feeder beads here that I've got I don't use them very often for this kind of fish and I use them more for bomb you can get smaller versions of them as well because this one's a quite a bit bigger um, and again hook link whatever size you want um, and that's sort of the matrix uh, feeder on there nice and simple uh, what we'll do is just slide this matrix one off and uh, we'll um, slide the matrix one on and we'll slide on the uh, shotgun feeder so you can have a look at that one while we've got it so again the same scenario if you'd have had, you'd have had your, your feeder on already uh, before you put any uh, before you put your beads on but we're just going to do it backwards because it makes it more fun especially with uh, my crappy eyesight and wind beautiful don't you just love it being in your garden sometimes so oh my god sometimes you do like to do it the hard way right there we go out the other end and that's pulled down there and again like i was saying before you, you could have a smaller bead this is one's quite a big bead for, for this use but just for the sake of showing you on camera it makes it a little bit easier to see so that obviously will be pulled and sit inside like so and then your bait will be on and put inside like so and then bang it'd fire it out the bait will be out and you'll be uh, bagging up in no time so that's just how simple that rig is to tie uh, we'll jump back onto main camera and uh, we'll we'll sort of have a little two minutes and uh, right, guys so hopefully that were helpful um i don't want to jabber on too much but it was just giving you a breakdown it's more for beginners to see these various different ways and um, um, different rigs to, to attach different method feeders and different styles of feeder but all within a same style rig now I'm, I'm not being biased in this because i've got preston gear i would suggest getting a set of getting uh, just settling on a feeder they're a little bit more expensive um a, a preston ones and guru ones or matrix whoever whichever brand you want but go with the same brand because the reason i say that is you can use that interchangeable system matrix have got the same guru have got the same um and as same as the prestons and if you've got that tube on you, you you don't have to mess about you can put it in whatever scenario you want um you can get smaller tubes as well um if you only if you know you're fishing a winter session and you're fishing up close um and let's see if i've got a feeder to hand um you can utilize smaller feeders within this size so for example I could use a smaller version of this one and which is 
sort of like that size in comparison to that size um, with a smaller uh, stem on it and you know if, if you know what time of year you're fishing if you need a smaller stem or not but it allows you can you can put it on a bigger stem it will fit on a bigger stem you can cut the stems down and um, it just makes it an easier session if you're going to fish with that same style of, of stuff you can just interchange them and you know depending on what the day brings and what methods you want to do you've got ultimate change ability with that rig and it, it doesn't need to be any more difficult there's there's people that do crazy fancy rigs out there and method feeder fishing is the simplest simplest method you can do for feeder fishing one bead one form of weight of feeder whatever that is sliding up and down the line and a hook link is that simple you don't need to be any harder than that it's super in line super simple safe for the fish and easy to do so there's my little tip on my basic method feeder fishing rig and hopefully it'll help you out just remember when you're putting that together that we only used a little piece of line so to put on that feeder first before you start to attach your beads otherwise you're going to be taking your bead off and starting again so uh, have fun with it guys if you've got any photos you want to share with us on the group or on the instagram uh, to sit, let, see how your rigs look that'd be absolutely great any other suggestions for videos that we can do obviously depending on what we can get and how we can do them with the with obviously what's going on at the moment and then that'd be great so uh, drop them below in the comments or on the instagram or on the facebook and uh, if we can do them we'll do them uh, join us on the live feeds which are every friday um at 7 uh, p.m on facebook group angling for you and on the instagram angling underscore for you at eight o'clock every friday and um, that's just a q and a a little chance to have a chat with us have a laugh you know just keep everybody positive at this time uh, with everything that what's going on and um, we look forward to to seeing you on those and uh, thank you very much for watching share with your friends and like and subscribe if you can thanks a lot catch you on the next one that lines.